Come the weekend, and the world's number one was as calm as the weather. Once more, there were record crowds. 49,000 arrived to see if Woods could take another step towards the grand slam of major titles at the age of 24. Once more, they enjoyed warm sunshine, and the old course was once again left unprotected by only the mildest of breezes. At the second hole, Woods gave the rest of the field some encouragement by missing a shortish putt for par. The unthinkable had happened. For the first time in 63 holes of major championship golf, Tiger Woods had to record a bogey on his card. There was only one riposte. The very next hole, cart gate was birded, and Woods returned to 11 under. With his challenges closing, Woods stepped up a gear at the short eighth. Great 175 yards to the pin, Woods hit it 175 and a half yards with his six iron. It was round the loop where Tiger had made his move on day one. Today, he scored back-to-back -back birdies when he holed yet another putt on the ninth. Back to three shots clear, Woods was dominating the field once more. As others made their mistakes, Woods pressed home his advantage. Ten and eleven were played to par, and then another birdie blitz turned the screw. First, an exquisite pitch into the bank to set up the putt at the twelfth, fourteen under. Then another putt from a distance was blazed into the middle of the cup on the 13th, 15 under. At the next, he followed caddy Steve Williams' instructions to the letter with his second at the par five. That one you're talking about? That's the one right there, Tyler. That's the point you're talking about. From the Elysian Fields in the 14th fairway, Woods carried the ball 272 yards to the front of the green and finished pin high. The obligatory two putts gave him his sixth birdie of the day and took him six shots clear. At the 17th, golf's most knowledgeable gallery recognized this 24-year-old was in complete control. They knew they were witnessing history on this most historic of golfing venues. The three-putt and drop shot, if not significant, at least suggested that the tiger was mortal. Once more, the bogey was followed by a brilliant birdie. Woods' US Open and Masters victories came by record margins. At the Open, he'd have a six-shot lead going into his final run. The bigger the lead, I think, the more pressure you feel. And I've played with big leads before, and I've been able to be successful, but uh, we'll see you tomorrow.